You know, sometimes the biggest discoveries come in the smallest of things. That's what happened to one local scientist who discovered a new parasite. News 8's Eric Jacobson is live in our newsroom with the story tonight. Mike and Martha, Eric Leese is a fish biologist at the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service in Onalaska. Now, about a year and a half ago, he made a big discovery by finding a new species of parasite on the Mississippi River. While it can't be seen by the human eye, it's got quite a big story behind its name. She cared about all of her employees in a way that made everybody feel special. Eric Leese admits that he wouldn't be where he is now without the help of his mentor and friend, Becky Lassay. She didn't just take the time to show me, but she made sure that I understood, and that, that was really important. So when he discovered a new parasite a year and a half ago... It's really neat. He knew exactly what he was going to do. I knew, uh, you know, when I first saw the parasite, that I was going to name after Becky because, I mean, that's like the ultimate way to say thank you to somebody. And that's when Henagaya Lisei was born. It's an honor to be, you know, have a parasite named after you. I know it sounds bad, but it is a, it is a very good honor. Lise had more testing done on the parasite from a friend at Mississippi State University. And I called my friend uh, Matt Griffin, who graduated from UWL and he named the parasite after Becky's husband, Dan. Dan Sutherland had been a professor at UWL and had influenced so many students that he had already had a parasite named after him. But he passed away unexpectedly in 2006. When Lise received the results of the testing, he realized that the parasite he named after Becky was closely related to the parasite named after Dan. When I opened the email and, and saw that they were related, I think I literally screamed kind of and started laughing because I just couldn't believe it. I didn't have words really. It was, it was, gave me chills almost. Even as a biologist, Becky says it feels like something more. Felt like maybe it was a message from my husband just telling me, you know, hello or something, how you doing? And, me saying back, I'm doing well. But whatever it was, it's a reminder that sometimes the biggest things come in the tiniest of discoveries. Sometimes real life is better than anything you could put into a book, I think. Now, Lise actually discovered the parasite in the gills of catfish found on the Mississippi River. The size of the parasite is roughly 60 micrometers. Now, just to give you an idea that the period at the end of a sentence is about 200 micrometers. Very interesting. Thanks, oh Eric. Gosh. Lisey says while both she and her husband were scientists, they found great joy in influencing students throughout the years. That means Dan and Becky really are love bugs, right? <laughs> Good okay, one. Sorry.